everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents, for a Dollar Tree haul. Yes, it has been a minute since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. Actually, it's been about a week, five days to a week since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. This headband is messing with my eyeglasses. Anyway, but I am back. I took some time off because I was kind of burnt out from YouTube. I was kind of burnt out and I was doing a lot of face mask reviews and then people were like, we're tired of seeing face mask reviews. Not everybody, but like I got, there's always a couple of one or two people in the peanut gallery that are like, oh, we're tired of seeing your face <laughs> doing face masks. Anyway, so I have a whole ton of, I almost said Bath and Body Works. I have a whole ton of Dollar Tree stuff, Dollar Tree stuff. And at the end, I'm going to show you a uh, little bit of extra from Burlington. But I want to get into this Dollar Tree haul. So the most exciting things that I found were the books. I love a good book and I found some good ones. I found some other stuff. So anyway, let's start off with this. And then I will read you the book descriptions and the DVD descriptions at the end. So of course I picked up some toilet paper, right? So much fun. I picked up another one of these. It turned out that it was good and I did get another one. So this is the Old Orchard Healthy Balance Diet Strawberry Watermelon. And you know, as a diabetic, I can't drink fruit juice, not regular fruit juice anyway, because too much sugar. But anyway, this is Diet Flavor Re Flavored Reduced Sugar Cocktail from Concentrate. So not actually juice. Um, it has one gram of sugar and six calories. So the strawberry watermelon was good. So I decided to pick up another one of that. And you get a good amount. You get a half a gallon, 64 fluid ounces. So that's that's a good deal. And then I decided to try this one, which is the white grape peach. I think that's going to be good. That's weird. This one is six calories and this one is nine calories per serving and two grams of sugar. So anyway, there's that. I picked up some bar soap. Yes, I know I haven't even used the lemon bar soap that I picked up previously, but this is my favorite color, purple. And I really like how, I don't wanna say how it smells because I can't really smell it. It smells like clean, but anyway, it's the Dial Lavender and Twilight Jasmine, antibacterial. So we know even though things are going pretty pretty much a little bit better in New York as far as the whole pandemic, we still have to stock up on our antibacterials. Always good to have. And it does smell good through the package, what I can smell. Anyway, and it is it's going to be purples, which is my favorite is color. I picked up some dog treats for Malcolm before you guys say it. I usually, I never buy any kind of dog product, pet product from Dollar Tree because it's all made in China and you never know and they're with all the recalls on stuff. So I never buy anything unless it's like Alpo and very rarely like a brand name. But anyway, I found these dog treats. I don't know if he's going to like them. I found these dog treats and the reason that I got them is because this is fresh baked it says sourced and processed entirely in the United States. So, yeah, this is made in the USA. And it just has like wheat flour, rolled oats, vegetable oil, molasses, sugar, cornstarch. It says Foppers Gourmet Biscuits uh, to be fed as a treat only. So... Yeah, I don't know. They look kind of look like cookies like that you would get in uh, Petco. So we'll see if he likes them. I don't know. They don't, I can't smell them through the packaging. For me, well, not for me, but for, for Malcolm, the worst, the worst stuff smells, the more he likes it. Then going with the antibacterials, did I need more hand soap? Did I, did I need more soap? No, that's air freshener. Did I need more hand soap? No, I didn't. But I, I got this because of course the antibacterials. So this is Bath and Beauty Liquid Hand Soap Antibacterial. And this is the, is this the unscented? I think this is the unscented, but anyway. So there's that. And this is made in Turkey. 
I know that uh, we've been, there has been a lot of recalls on uh, products, antibacterial products produced in Mexico. So, but this is made in Turkey. So, it smells okay. It smells like a hospital kind of like, no, actually it doesn't smell like hospital smoke, uh, soap. It smells like, it smells like baby butt, like uh, baby powder, diaper wipes. So, not the best smelling soap, but yeah trying to close it there okay um but still you get 16.9 fluid ounces um anyway you hear snoring in the background that is malcolm then i got the um bath and beauty liquid hand soap in the apple antibacterial so it kind of smells like green apple but not really it's not um it's not the best smelling soap i can tell you that but you know, we have to stock up on the antibacterials because you never know. You never know when there's going to be a shortage. Then I got um, this shave gel in Berry Burst. I figure I try it. I've been using that other shave gel, that blue one for bikini, whatever. That's really good. So I can't really smell this. It kind of smells like berries, but it's sealed. So this is seven fluid ounces. So I got that. Uh, I don't know where, like, oh, here, here's the other one. Okay, so I got two of these LA Colors. I thought these were lipsticks. I was so excited because I was like, these would be so great as lipsticks. I don't think you can use them as lipsticks. Um, so this is LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow Metallic Glowing Eyes. So my favorite colors, pink and purple. So this one is uh, in the shade Regal. And yes, I did get my nails done. I cut them down because they were getting on my nerves. Um, and then this is Wink. So I'm going to try these out. I think you can mix these, like do a metallic over your... Well, I have hooded eyes, so I don't know how it's going to work on me, but... You know, just put the metallic here and then put the regular shadow there. I have no idea how these are going to work out, but I did get them because they were my favorite colors. Then I got this book, which I'm anxious to read you the description because if I ever get time to read all these books, this, this seems like a really, really good book. So it's all our wrong todays. So we'll get to that after. Does it have new book smell? Yes, it does. Anyway, so there's that. That's one bag done. And then I got some other stuff. Lots of other stuff, guys. I got this. Oh, it broke. It broke open. I was going to give it away as a gift. Oh, well. So this says Fortune Pen. And this is mermaid to do list, and then of course, like when you press the uh, the little plunger thing there, it changes what it says. So it says, "Dive for treasure, take a shelfie, dance with a dolphin, wish upon a starfish, ride a seahorse, make waves." So the reason I was going to give this away because this would have been a cute stocking stuffer is because I don't usually like wide wide pens like this to write with. I like the thinner pens. They're easier to hold. But since it's already open, let's see how this writes. This is Die for Treasure. Oh, it writes really nice. Okay, I'm glad I'm keeping it. It writes really nice. So that's really cute. I'm going to bring that with me to work tomorrow. That'll be fun. So the, the um, fortune pen, the mermaid fortune pen, so cute. Then I got these two bags. It's a set of two bags. And this is from Voila or Viola. Um, and then it's got pineapples and there. And then watermelon. So, so super cute. And spring and summery. Um, move that fortune pen over. Maybe I should have got two of those. Okay, so these did not make it to the haul. I ate them. Uh, so this is Nature Garden, and this is the Paleo Nut Mix. They did have a keto one, but the keto one had cheese in it. And you guys know I am not about cheese. So this had um, peanuts, 
cashews, almonds, walnuts, and hazelnuts. It was really good. My only complaint with this is that they cheap out on you because they give you more peanuts than any of the other nuts. And we all know peanuts are the cheapest nuts out of cashews, almonds, walnuts, and hazelnuts. So yeah, they, they give you way too many peanuts. So oh, I, I would pick it up again though. Maybe this was just like, maybe the way they mix the bag. Oh, okay. So I told you guys that after I ordered that mask applicator kit, um, that I, the reason that I ordered it was that I could not find the silicone face mask applicator brushes in Dollar Tree, even though I know they carry them because they're on the Dollar Tree website. Guess what I found in every color now? The mask applicator brushes. Now the ones that I ordered, the, the applicator tip is clear. These are colors. So they had all different colors. They had orange, they had blue, they had all kinds of colors, but I picked up my two favorite colors, uh, purple and pink. So now I will have extra mask applicators. And I finally did, I finally did get to go to Home Depot and pick up one of these storage tubs to put all my masks and mask applicator paraphernalia in. So I will be doing a mask collection video coming up soon. Then I picked up these two masks because I see them all the time, but I don't have them in my face mask collection. These are from Bolero. These are the ones that, that they always have. So this is the Hydrating Paper Facial Mask in Watermelon and Aloe. It says smooth, smoothen, soften, and repair. Is smoothen a word? Um, and then this one is the Cucumber and Aloe. Yeah, so watermelon and aloe, cucumber and aloe. So I wonder if they will be pink and green and I wonder if they will have any kind of scent. So this is a three to five minute mask. That's the good thing about Bolero. They're quick masks. They're not like 20 minute masks and stuff. Oh, so I did get this one DVD that I'm really excited about. You guys may not know about this story. So this is, this is client number nine. Client 9, um, The Rise and Fall of Elliot Spitzer. So we'll get to that. That's going to be a fun one. I was really surprised when I saw that. When I saw it was like Client 9, I was like, is that the Elliot Spitzer story? And sure enough, it was. I was like, okay, I'm picking that up, definitely. Then I picked up one of these collapsible cubes. They had all different kinds of sayings. I got the Be a Mermaid and Make Waves one. I don't usually get these. I used to buy these collapsible storage containers all the time. The reason that I don't like them is that if you overstuff them, the sides will puff out. They, they don't stay the same shape. They will uh, get distorted and bend and then they just don't look like a cube anymore. They look like a, I don't know, a deflated football. So um, yeah. So I did pick up the uh, I should open this and show you guys. You can't really see it. So, this is the Be a Mermaid to Make Waves. Um, so, the way it works is it, it puffs out like this, and then it has the little bottom part, the cardboard part that you put in here. And so, this is a, a small cube, although it looks kind of big there. So, what happens is if you overfill this, it will start to it will start to bend out like this and get all distorted and misshapen and not fun. So, but that I really like the design on that, so I picked that up. Uh I got some more books. We're going to go through the books at the end. So, I got let's move client number 9 over. I got this one called Persons Unknown. And then Yes, new book smell. And this one, Vasa in the Night. These, I really am excited about these books. They are really interesting sounding. I got another mask. I have the, I have the bubble mask in the gray charcoal and in the blue. And I did not have the pink bubble mask. I could not believe I was missing that from my collection. So I picked up the pink bubble mask. I got um some ultra ajax soap like i need more soap 
Uh, this is charcoal and citrus. It says strips grease guaranteed. This just smells really good. And I just like the idea of it being charcoal and citrus. So yeah, it smells good. It doesn't really smell like charcoal. It smells more like lemons. And then I picked up the LA Colors Intense Lip Gloss. I could not find any hard candy uh, this time around. Anyway, so LA Colors Intense Color Lip Gloss. We might try this at the end. I don't know if my lips are going to look like that. And this is in the shade Kitten. So we'll see how that is. I got this air freshener. These are the, the new air fresheners at the Dollar Tree. It's this brand Wizard. It says the Magic of Fresh. They had a, a whole bunch of different ones. I have enough air freshener. And for you guys who were concerned about me having a pug and using any kind of scented air freshener. So that is my air freshener collection that I keep up there. And what I usually do is I bring it to work and I use it at work. Like I'm the supplier at my, <laughs> I, I buy so much soap and stuff that I bring it to work and share. And I also bring the air fresheners for the bathroom and also just for it to spray around my desk or whatever just to freshen so this is just like my my little collection to see what I have I really don't use air freshener in the house around my dog unless you know he's particularly stinky like if I I'm, get through this whole thing but if I don't have a chance to walk him or the weather is really bad and he poops on his pad and it smells really, really bad, then maybe I will use my air freshener. But anyway, so this is sweet vanilla and lavender. You have to shake this up or else it squirts out in like a stream instead of like a puff. Can't really smell it. Yeah, it smells okay. Sweet vanilla lavender. Yeah, it's more heavy on the lavender than it is on the vanilla. But then I got these more, uh, more of these inspirational decor type things. That one is not inspirational. That just says life begins after coffee. No, but I, I have too much inspirational stuff on my desk, my, my home desk. Um, I need an office. I need like my own home office and then like with shelves so that I could put all this inspirational decor all around me. Right now it's kind of cluttered. So anyway, I got this one. They have a whole bunch of different ones. So this one says she's an unstoppable force. So I thought that was super cute. You gotta be careful with these because they will break easily, they're glass. And then this one I thought was really cute. I don't know why they put palm trees behind it, but it says, trust your purpose. And they I can't remember what the other one said. If you go on the Dollar Tree website and you look up decor, um, you'll be able to see all of them. And they don't have the, the hook for you to, oh yeah, they do. They have the hook for you to hang them right there. You just have to pull it out. So I'm not gonna mess up my nails. All right. Oh, okay. I know some of you guys loved my my hair bow. So I picked up two more. Okay. I picked up another one of the one that I'm wearing. And yes, I do know that these are for children, but they fit my head just fine. Um, this is the school uniform brand. So just in case this one gets stretched out, and by the way, it's not tight at all on my head. It's very comfortable. I really, really love it. It's very 1950s looking, so I picked up another one. And they did have another kind. They did have this white one uh, with polka dots. And I only picked up one because white gets really dirty. Um, I don't know if the, how the, let's see how the white looks. Oh, this one's tighter, okay. See, I spoke too soon. This one may not fit, fit my head. Okay, yeah, it fits. Now watch, I'm gonna like this white one better than the other one. I'm gonna have to get another one of these. I don't know, guys. Which one do you like better, the white or the blue? I think I like the blue better. 
anyway and then I picked this up uh and I I did not see it again this looks like it's got some good stuff in it this is an 18 piece first aid kit um and I see that it's got scissors in there a tweezers um safety pins all kinds of stuff does it say exactly what's in there no it doesn't oh yes it does so I don't have to open it up I could just keep this in my car so this says includes eight cotton swabs one tweezer one mini scissor two adhesive bandages one safety pin uh 1.54 inches four safety pins 1.06 inches one multifunctional knife that's really good for a dollar that's that's not bad you get some like useful stuff in there all right i have like i didn't realize this was such a big haul okay now i'm gonna do my extras i picked this up at walgreens today and i did not realize that dollar tree carries the same exact thing but i found this in the dollar section at walgreens some walgreens have dollar sections some have like the super clearance section Depends on which one you go to. So mine has a dollar section. So I got the Clarice um, three-in-one cotton combo pack. And this is convenient and I could reuse this for storage. So you got your cotton balls, your Q-tips, and your gauze, which is very useful. Especially for traveling, this is super useful. So there's that. And then here's the bonus footage from Burlington. And then we will get to the books and the DVDs. So I was at Burlington and I did not need more tote bags. But if you want to see all the different kinds that they had, you can look on my Instagram at Shopping and Sense. But there was this bag that was just so super pretty. I had to get it. And these are all a dollar. So this is super shiny and it's, it's Paris. There's the Eiffel Tower. It's Paris. Uh, it's like, you know, a Paris scenery, uh, what do you call it? A skyline type thing with these cherry blossoms. And the sides that say Burlington are this hot pink color. And I just thought this was so super beautiful with the hot pink trim. And these bags are really durable. And this is like super glossy, shiny. So I picked up um, two of these Paris bags. And then they had socks. And I also put on my Instagram all the different socks they had. They had Rocky Horror Picture Show. They had Harry Potter. They had Edward Scissorhands. They had Stephen King's It. One with Pennywise on it and one with a balloon that says you'll float too. But the one that I got because I did not have a lot of money on me. I was like um, budgeting that week. I was like, I can only buy one pair of socks, even though they were only $1.99. So I opted for the Beetlejuice socks, one of my favorite movies of all time. And it says, I myself am strange and unusual. So if you've ever watched the movie, that is the classic line by Delia Dietz. Not Delia Dietz, I'm sorry. Winona Ryder, what is she, uh, what character does she play in Beetlejuice? I forget. Oh my God. I can't believe I forgot what her name. Lydia. Lydia. Lydia Dietz. So I myself am strange and unusual and it, it has the little Beetlejuice logo there. It's so super, super cute. Anyway. Yeah. So that's the bonus footage. Now, if you guys are interested in sticking around, I think I'm going to take this off my head. I don't really like the white one. I like the blue one a lot better. So we will get into the books, the DVD and the makeup. Oh, my hair is not looking that bad today. It's actually looking kind of full. Okay. So, all right, where should we begin? Let's begin with the DVD. For you guys who don't know about client number nine, and they had a few of them. So if you're if you're interested in this, I would go check it out. Um, okay. Client number nine is the rise and fall of Elliot Spitzer. So if you're not from New York, you may not be familiar, but Elliot Spitzer 
was, I think, the attorney general at one point, but he was the 54th governor of New York State. So he was succeeded by David Patterson. And now, uh, after David Patterson, is the current governor, Andrew Cuomo. So Elliot Spitzer resigned the governorship because he got caught with prostitutes high-priced call girls, prostitutes, and I think he used taxpayer money to, to hire the prostitutes or to go and rent these hotel rooms. I have to watch the movie. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, it says money, sex, power, betrayal. So, of course, they weren't going to use his real name, like the escort service that he was using, so they called him client number nine. I don't know why, what's the significance of why he was client nine as opposed to some other number, but um, yeah. So it says here, Client 9 takes an in-depth look at the rapid rise and dramatic fall of New York Governor Elliot Spitzer. As New York's Attorney General, Spitzer prosecuted crimes by America's largest financial institutions and some of, the, some of the most powerful executives in the country. After his election as governor, many believed he was on his way to becoming president. Um, the New York Times revealed that Spitzer had been caught seeing prostitutes and the sheriff of Wall Street, as he was known, fell quickly from grace. Uh, it says, with unique access, the film explores the hidden contours of this tale of hubris, sex, and power. And they do interview him in this. I watched the trailer, so... So then there's these three books that all look super fascinating. Oh, okay. So this one will actually you know what I want to start with this one. Persons Unknown. I just I picked it up and I was like, let me read what it's about. Oh crap, the cover bent. Okay, we'll have to tuck that back in there. Okay, so it says. And it's marked $27. Read with me. Okay. It says, so we're, we're reading Persons Unknown by Susie Steiner. It says, as dusk falls, a young man staggers through a park far from home, bleeding from a stab wound. He dies where he falls, crad cradled by a stranger, a woman's name on his lips in his last seconds of life. Detective Manon Bradshaw handles only cold cases. Five months pregnant in pursuit of a work-life balance rather than a romantic love, she's focused on being a good mother to her two children, her adopted 12-year-old son, Fly Dent, and the new baby. But the man died just yards from the police station where she works, so Manon can't help taking on uh, an interest. As she sidles yeah it's a sidles in on the briefing she learns that the victim a banker from london worth millions is closely linked to her more closely linked to her than she could have imagined when the case begins to circle in on manon's home and her family she finds herself pitted against her colleagues uh that she once held dear can Manon separate what she knows about the people she loves from the suspicion hanging over them? Can she investigate the evidence just as she would any other case? Persons Unknown shows as acclaimed author Susie Steiner writing in her most intricate suspenseful novel ever. Yeah, so that sounds interesting. Persons Unknown, like a murder mystery. This one, this one reminds me the cover, Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. Reminds me of this book that I picked up, which I still have not read. Only the Dead, No Brooklyn. Just the black and red. That's what attracted me to this. So I picked it up and it looks really interesting. It says, in the enchanted kingdom of Brooklyn. And this is a 1799 marked. In the enchanted kingdom of Brooklyn, the fashionable people put on cute shoes, go to parties and warehouses, drink on rooftops at sunset, and tell themselves they've arrived. A whole lot of Brooklyn is like that now, but not Vasa's working class neighborhood. In Vasa's neighborhood where she lives with her stepmother and bickering stepsisters, one might stumble onto magic, but stumbling away again could become an issue. 
Babs Yag, the owner of the local convenience store, has a policy of beheading shoplifters and sometimes innocent shoppers as well. When Vasa's stepsister sends her out for light bulbs in the middle of the night, she knows it could easily become a suicide mission. Sounds so odd. Okay. It says, but Vasa has a bit of luck hidden in her pocket. A gift from her dead mother, Erg, it's E-R-G, Erg is a tough talking wooden doll with sticky fingers, a bottomless stomach, and a ferocious cunning. With Erg's help, Vasa just might be able to break the witch's curse and free her Brooklyn neighborhood, but Babs won't be playing fair. Inspired by the Russian folktale, Vasa Lisa the Beautiful, and her years of experience teaching creative writing to students in New York City public schools, acclaimed author Sarah Porter weaves a dark yet hopeful tale about a young girl's search for home, love, and belonging. That just sounds so, so bizarre. So bizarre. And I love a good book about Brooklyn, so. And then it's based on a, uh, what do you call it? Um... Based on inspired by a Russian folk tale, and it just has like all the, you know her, the creepy doll, the weird woman at the um, the store. Yeah. So now the last one, and this one I think is really super fascinating. All our wrong todays. A novel by Elon Mustai. I don't know. Anyway, so. This sounds really interesting. I'm trying to get the book in the frame. It says Tom Barron lives in 2016, lives in the 2016 that people in the 1950s imagined we would have, a version of our world where technology has solved all of humanity's problems. Yet Tom can't seem to find his place in this perfect utopia and feels like a constant disappointment to his brilliant but distant father. When the girl of his dreams turns his life upside down, Tom does what you would do when you're heartbroken and have a time machine. Something stupid. He finds himself stranded in what seems to be a terrible dystopian alternate reality. What we immediately recognize as our 2016, the all too familiar real world. Tom is desperate to fix his mistake and return to the 2016 he knows with its moving sidewalks and flying cars until he discovers wonderfully unexpected versions of his family, his career, and the woman who might just be the love of his life. Caught between his sense of responsibility to a utopian world and the unpredictable surprises of our complex, messy reality, Tom faces an impossible choice. His search for the answer takes him across continents and timelines in a quest to figure out finally who he really is and what is his future, our future, our future is supposed to be. All of our wrong todays is about the versions of ourselves that we shed and grow into over time. It is a story of friendship and family, of unexpected journeys and alternate paths and of love in its multitude of forms filled with humor and heart and saturated with insight, intelligence, and a mind-bending talent for invention. The novel signals the arrival of a major talent. So anyway, yeah, so it's a guy goes back. He's living in a utopian 2016, which is what the 2016 we would have imagined in the 1950s. And then he uses a time machine to go back to 2016, which is the 2016 that we would know, and then decides that he doesn't like it, and then he's stuck. So it just seems like really, really interesting. All of our wrong todays. So it just had this like Twilight Zone swirl thing on it. Anyway, I think that's really super interesting. So again, we have Vasa in the night. All of our wrong todays and persons unknown. And then of course we have this, which will be super fascinating, which is client number nine. I was going to test out the lipstick, but... I don't know. Should I test it out? Where did my glasses go? <sighs> Let's see here. Intense color lip gloss. I know this is a super long video. So like for you guys who don't like to stick around for the bonus features, you don't have to stick around for the bonus features. 
Okay, so this is Intense Color Lip Gloss in Kitten. So let's see what this is like. Oh. Hmm, I overdid it. I don't know. I can't tell how it looks. I'm blind. I didn't put that on right. I can't see. I cannot see. For the person who told me I should use my magnifying mirror, I'm starting to think that you're absolutely right. So it, it does look like it's it's pretty dark for a lip gloss, intense color lip gloss. I mean, it kind of looks like a lipstick. I don't know if it looks like that, but yeah. So anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.